Welcome to DIY with Nancy. Hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to make one of my favorite recipes and that is a milk bread cake with coconut. In Portuguese we call it um bolo de pão de leite com coco. And it's a super soft cake. It can be a pull apart cake or you can cut it. Either way, it's super, super delicious. I hope you stay with me to watch how to make um bolo de pão de leite com coco step by step. First step is to activate the yeast. Starting off with one teaspoon of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of sugar, and one tablespoon of active dry yeast. Stir that together and add half a cup of lukewarm water. Stir together your water into the yeast just to start getting it activated and then you're gonna set it aside for a good 10 minutes or so until it starts bubbling. That's how you know your yeast is activated. Now set aside the yeast. Next I'll be using my stand mixer and I'm starting off with two large eggs. I've placed the mixer on high speed. I'm gonna let it go for about one minute. Okay, now that I have my eggs mixed there, I'm going to add three quarter cups of sugar. And to that, I'm adding one and a half cups of warm milk. Now when I say warm, lukewarm. And next I'm adding a quarter teaspoon of salt. And lastly, a third of a cup of melted butter. And I'm using unsalted butter. Okay, let the stand mixer do its work for another minute and let that all mix together. Okay, now that we have that nice and blended, we're going to add the activated yeast that I prepared earlier. So we're just gonna add that into the uh, liquid mixture. And I'm going to let it mix for an additional 30 seconds. Here I'm pouring the liquid mixture into a large bowl. Next I'm adding five and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Now I'm going to be adding the flour gradually. So first I'll place half and start kneading it with my hands and then eventually I'll be adding the balance of the flour and incorporating that into a dough. Set aside half a cup of all-purpose flour. I always like to use uh, additional flour for my working surface as well as the dough. I'm placing the dough on my surface to knead for an additional minute or two until I firm up the dough. Now add a little bit more flour as you can see. The dough is sticky and that's exactly how you want it. After kneading the dough for about two minutes I form a ball just as I'm doing here and in a medium sized bowl I place flour and I place the dough. Next I cover the dough with plastic wrap and set it aside until it doubles in size. I've set my timer for an hour and 20 minutes and as you can see it more than doubled in size. Next I'm placing flour on my working surface from the half a cup that I set aside and I'm also placing flour on my hands and placing the dough on my working surface. Now this dough is very stretchy and soft and that's what I'm doing here, stretching it out in the log form and using a pastry scraper to cut the dough in eight individual pieces. So I'm cutting them about two inches apart. Next I'm taking each piece, flouring my surface and rolling each individual piece into a ball form and I'll be doing that eight times. I'm forming the ball of dough just like this. Now if it's easier for you, you can simply roll the ball of dough with both your hands to form the ball. For this recipe, I'll be using a removable bottom cake pan. If you don't have one of these, no worries, you can use a spring form pan. Of course, you're going to grease your pan, either butter or baking spray, 
and next you're going to place your dough into the cake pan just as I'm doing here. Next I cover the dough with a tea towel and set it aside to let it rise for an additional 20 minutes. 20 minutes later the dough has doubled in size. Next I'm preparing an egg wash with one egg and one teaspoon of water. Mix that together and gently brush the egg wash onto the dough before it goes into the oven just as I'm doing here. Next you're going to bake it in the oven at 350 degrees for approximately 25 minutes or until it's golden brown. Okay, the bolu is out of the oven. I've had it on my stove top for about 10 minutes to let it cool and now I'm going to remove it from the cake pan. Next I have half a cup of sweetened condensed milk and I'm simply brushing it on to the bolu as I'm doing here and you can put as much or as little as you like. For the last ingredient I have two tablespoons of sweetened coconut and I'm simply drizzling it onto the bolu pan late and it just gives it that extra sweetness on top of the bolu. And here is my bold pond late con coco. I have to cut a slice just so you see what the inside of this bold pond late cook looks like. It's absolutely delicious, super soft, and you just have to see what it looks like. So, here's the bold pond late con coco. Now, the pond late in itself is not very sweet and the coconut and the condensed milk is what adds that touch of sweetness. But tear it apart, so super soft. Look at that. And here is the inside of the Bold Pond Late Con Coco. Okay everyone, that was my recipe for Bold Pond Late Con Coco, which is a milk bread cake with coconut. Super soft, as you can see, and it's not overly sweet. It's just perfect. It's just absolutely one of my favorites. And I hope you all enjoyed the recipe today. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, take care, everyone.